Oh, hey, Sagittarius. How you guys doing? Happy Pisces season. Welcome to my channel. If you don't subscribe yet, do myself and yourself a favor, all right? And subscribe and join my weird little tarot family. I'm not your traditional reader, all right? I'm an art reader and I'm an intuitive. I channel energy. Um, I'm going to give you a more in-depth reading. I'm not just gonna tell you the five of pentacles, someone's been left out in the cold. I'm gonna tell you why they were left out in the cold or how they're feeling out in the cold or if they put themselves out in the cold or if maybe they like the cold, all right? Um, I am also available for personal readings. If you guys wanna book me, please email me at a southernstrega at gmail.com. That's also in my about section. This is going to be a you versus them connection reading. It's a reading between you and a person of interest. It usually involves love. Um, can usually uh, also involve family drama, whatever, but it's usually love, all right? I do do other kinds of readings. You can check my other videos for that. All right, starting off with the past for the first side, we've got the page of wands in reverse. This is the Mermaid Tarot by Dame Darcy, by the way. Oh my God, this deck is amazing, all right? She's like this cool punk rock artist chick. She's got a comic book line. She made a um, doll for Courtney Love out of Kurt Cobain's hair after he died. What a Scorpio mood that is. Ooh, Seven of Swords with the Page of Wands in reverse. I'm not liking this side. Who is this, Sag? Hierophant in reverse. Whoever they are, they... um. I have a low moral standard at the moment. <laughs> the world in reverse, and they have no intent on, you know, getting out of that. That fixed energy right there. Wow. I haven't even been reading reversals, but I started to after retrograde for some reason, and it's been really helpful. Three of Wands coming up for the future. Six of Pentacles in reverse coming up for the future. Someone's getting that. F out of Dodge, Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Someone is completely checked out of this relationship, Queen of Swords, and they are being shady as all get out. Three of Pentacles in reverse, and they have no intention, Ace of Pentacles, they have no intention of coming back and doing anything about it. <laughs> Hate to bring it to you, Sag, if you're here for a reconciliation reading, this is not it, okay? But uh, maybe I can get to the bottom of why this person was acting so shady. All right, we got the Page of Wands and the Seven of Swords. <laughs> the Page of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords, all right? Um, pages represent young people, immature energy. It's in reverse, which means you're getting the negative aspects of that page, which is, you know, um, in and out, fiery, um, rude, uh, popping off of the mouth, um, not nice, all right? Hot-tempered. And coupled with the Seven of Swords, that's my least favorite energy in the tarot, you guys. Like, literally, there's no energy I hate more than the Seven of Swords. That is someone, you know, intentionally just being shady, all right? Intentionally causing pain, intentionally causing hurt, being deceptive on purpose, okay? This is not some, you know, divine intervention like what happens with the Wheel of Fortune or the Tower. This is like somebody, you know, using their free will to, you know, basically be an asshole, all right? And coming towards the connection, they got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, which means they're not invested at all. It's like they checked out completely whoever this is. And I feel like they made a swift exit and um, a very dramatic one, all right? It was either like a straight up ghosting, you know, what the hell just happened? Where did this person go? Or it was like a blowout fight from out of nowhere and they just disappeared. And you haven't heard from them since then because they're putting in zero effort in this past situation. They made a quick exit, all right? Hierophant in reverse with the world in reverse and the queen of swords in reverse. <laughs> queen of swords in reverse coming at the connection is, um, again, more dishonesty, more um, hurtful words. The queen of swords reverse is like a cold bitch, all right? This person has gone completely cold. They've got the world in reverse with the hierophant in reverse. That to me tells me that they just have no intentions whatsoever of either putting an end to this behavior or, you know, being more hierophant-like, all right? The hierophant is like a priest. He's a he's a holy man. He would never act in the Seven of Swords, Page of Wands, and reverse type energy. This person has no qualms about, you know, acting out of pocket and acting out of character right now. In the future, I see the Three of Wands, which means they will be choosing another way to go, choosing another adventure, and it's not gonna be here, all right? They've got two cards, Six of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles in reverse 
coming through, meaning that they have no interest in, you know, balancing this out, giving or, you know, receiving any more from this relationship. And the three of pentacles in reverse is, you know, they don't even want to work on it. All right. I'm going to clarify these to see why they're in this kind of energy. Okay. Um, all right. For the other side, we got five of wands in the past. Y'all definitely had some kind of fight. Page of wands in reverse with the five of wands. And look at this energy here. This is the hoodoo tarot, by the way. She's sitting there with her arms folded and there's all these people in the back talking. It's like um, the five of wands is about conflict. It's about, you know, battling with each other. This one, um, I feel like the fight happened and then somebody, you know, kind of like took the stance, like I'm, you know, I'm over, like it ended something. There's a very um, stubborn energy coming through in the past. Like um, y'all butting heads, you know, um, about something and it came to a head is what I'm seeing. Yeah, five of swords in reverse. Jesus Christ, the five of wands and the five of swords in reverse, along with the page of wands in reverse and the seven of swords. Y'all, this is some Jerry Springer-ish right here, okay? Uh, whoever was on the side that I'm pulling for right now with these hoodoo cards, they didn't go all the way in like they wanted to, okay? They kept their mouth shut um, to some extent. I do see them being a little bit more guarded here. It's like they didn't want to engage in this foolery I'm seeing. They were trying, I feel like there was about to be a confrontation and they chose to just kind of like um, shut it down. They didn't want to be involved in all of that nonsense because <laughs> this was nonsense over here. Let me tell you, we got the sun in reverse, man. Wow. Along with the ten of swords. Sag, this is donezo, at least right now. <laughs> you got the high priestess, Miss Ida, popping out here in the future. Love that for whoever this is. And the Ace of Cups. All right, Sag, I want to call this your side because I don't want to, you know, peg you as the Seven of Swords. Page wants in reverse asshole over here because um, I wouldn't do that to you. All right, let's go over the connection. You got temperance in reverse popping out for the past. No shit. You got three of, oh my God, you guys. Three of swords. And like, this is the most disrespectful three of swords that I have in any of my tarot deck. Usually it's just like a broken heart with three swords in it. No, here's a dead guy like laying under this tree. All right, these are hoodoo cards. Those bottles hanging up in the tree, those are meant to, you know, protect you from evil spirits. So he's literally sitting under a tree where he's supposed to be being protected. He gets stabbed in the heart three times. And then look at this. There's a dog pissing on his grave. This person disrespected you in the utmost way, all right? This is what I'm talking about, how I'm an art reader, okay? There's three of swords, and yes, that's a broken heart, but this is a next level broken heart. This isn't just a broken heart. This is like a broken spirit. This is like being disrespected expected in a major way all right and i see that touching the queen of swords here who's in reverse and check it out this queen of swords is crying which is not queen of swords type energy all right she's not really super emotional at all if anyone's gonna cry it's like the queen of cups you know <laughs> the cancer one she's gonna you know be the cry baby but um and i'm not don't be offended if you're a cancer i'm a cancer all right we do cry um Whoever this was said some hurtful, hurtful shit on the way out, I'm feeling. I mean, it made, it made you get in this energy of the sun upside down, like ultimate happiness turned, you no, know, it's not. <laughs> and the 10 of uh, swords here. And then for the future, yeah, you guys got matching three of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Neither one of y'all want anything to do with this. And on the bottom of your deck, yeah, <laughs> that's the Knight of Swords, okay? That is, you know, cutting out some shit that you don't need, heading in another direction, gaining some clarity on something. But look at him in this one. Specifically, I want to tell you this story. This, um, in, uh, it was in the, there's a history book with this hoodoo tarot, okay? And what they explained about this card was, I guess, a way to settle disputes between families back then because they didn't want to call the police, you know, because police did not come help black people back then, just like they... Sorry, just gonna say it. They don't help them now either. Um, they would handle their shit themselves, all right? They would meet up on hallowed ground. This is in front of a church and they duke it out. And whoever won the fight, you know, the other family had to, you know, drop the beef and go about their day. It was over. 
So the, you know, y'all are like ready to fight this person. Like he's got a knife in his hand. He's ready to go. You are, And you got queen of wands in reverse on the bottom of that. You're going to light them up if they come back. Mm. I don't see him coming back though. So don't worry about it. All right, let me pull some clarifiers on these for you guys because this is wild. It's I, I feel like you're both like, God, I'm glad this is over. I'm glad they're gone. Like you're just glad to be done with each other. This is like how I felt about my ex-husband. <laughs> Y'all, come on. All right, page of wands in reverse. What is this about? What's this page of wands in reverse here for, for the past? For Sagittarius person. Three of swords. Can y'all get any more like insane energy popping out? They were already hurt, all right? They were like already, um, they got hurt about something. I don't... It's like they, it's like, a, um, it's, it feels very kindergarten-ish with the page of wands energy. It was something petty that they took offense to. All right. I don't see it as like the upright three of swords, you know, um, where it's like a true heartbreak. This is more like, a, um, taking something too seriously almost, or, um, over exaggerating something with the page of wands in reverse energy. Cause it is an immature energy. That's like feeling this heartbreak. It's not like, a, um, it's not like the emperor that's feeling it, who has control of all of his emotions. The page of wands in reverse has no control of his emotions. <laughs> I do feel like they were um, coming from a place of hurt when they said whatever it was they said in this page of wands in reverse energy. They were, um, it wasn't like from the bottom of their heart. You know what I'm saying? It's like a um, spontaneous reaction to something. It was like an emotional response that wasn't well thought out. Um, what's with this seven of swords here? Jesus. Sag. The six of cups. They might have gone back to a past situation. Or uh, when I see this, you know, three of swords in reverse with the six of cups coming out, clarifying their motivations here in the past. It sounds to me like there was still a connection from the past that they weren't over or they were attached to still. Or that they wanted to go back to or they felt like they needed to go, you know, work on that. I do get the energy of there was something else that they would rather be involved in. And they lied about it with that Seven of Swords energy. They didn't um, make it aware to you, Sag. They didn't tell you what the hell was going on. That they still have feels for somebody else. I do get that with Three of Swords in reverse. It's like a past heartbreak. Why is this Eight of Pentacles in reverse here? I feel like they just checked out and didn't tell you why. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What's going on with that? Two of Cups. So they're not wanting to work on a love connection here anymore, obviously. All right. But the reason that they're in that energy is because of the Two of Cups, which means they do have that feeling for somebody. It's clearly not my Sag over here. <laughs> King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. They'd be truthful about their emotions. If they were putting it out to you that they were, you know, there was a lovey-dovey sitch. They were not, they were, um, mm -mm. this is almost the energy of somebody like getting into a relationship with somebody or um, starting to date somebody to make somebody else jealous because they're still very much attached to this other person and they want to go back to that other person, but they hopped into a relationship anyways with no intention of working on it. People that do stuff like that, it's either like fill an emotional void or to, you know, make somebody else jealous. It could have been either or, Sag. Let me clarify for, um, your side over here. What's with this uh, temperance in reverse towards the connection? You knew something was off balance here. You you like some? It's like you smell like something was up. Like something was not um shaken out the way it was supposed to. That's way too many. Way too many. And they were all in reverse. And I can't even with y'all's reading already. <laughs> like I can't believe these cards showing up. Two three of swords. The sun in reverse, five of wands, I mean, five of knives. Yeah, five of wands, five of swords, seven of swords. Y'all. Hierophant in reverse. That's how they're showing up in the present. You are onto this game, all right? You got temperance in reverse, hierophant in reverse. You knew that they were bullshitting about commitment, about, you know, doing things by the book or about, you know, being truthful, being honest, being of good character, all right? You sniffed it out. You brought it to their attention. I feel like they got very defensive, which is some bullshit because they, you know, they're straight up lying. They were attached to something else. I feel like you called them out on it. Four of swords in reverse. 
Yeah, you had thought about this for a long ass time, all right? And you bit your tongue about it. I was clarifying this card right here. Instead of engaging in that, you know, brutal energy with the five of swords, like winning at all costs, you know, fighting to do whatever you want, you held back on that a little bit. You wanted to, all right? I feel like you wanted to. You thought about this for a very long time with that four of swords energy. It's like you contemplate, meditate, you want to off the head. <laughs> you wanna Oh, you want to Kendrick Lamar that way, but you didn't. All right. You held it back for whatever reason. You're trying to avoid the conflict because I feel like they, um, you didn't have to start the conflict because they, when you even brought it up, I feel like they just completely snapped is what it's looking like. Why is this five of wands here? It's like you accuse them of cheating and they just melted the fuck down. Justice in reverse. Just, I mean, y'all, come on. Justice in reverse? Do I even have to explain that? It was definitely an injustice that was done to you. They were not, you know, being truthful. They were lying. And justice is about, you know, weighing the evidence and, you know, making judgments, making the decision. But justice is like weighing the evidence and um, receiving the repercussions of what you did or whatever. And this person was acting like they could just get away with this, I feel like. And then you finally call them out and they like melt all the way down and make it seem like you're the one that's crazy and you're not because you came about this from, you know, four of swords energy. You really thought about this and collected your evidence, I feel like. Why is this Hierophant in reverse here for the current situation? The star in reverse. A, they've got some issues that they now have worked out, all right? And in this star card... She's like, um, her glove and something else is like in the water, but it reminds me of like when you would put a message in a bottle and send it out to somebody else. It's like they, they, their happiness, their wish come true is somewhere else. All right. Um, and they do have zero intention of like trying to make any of this better. If you're waiting for them to apologize or something like that, it's not happening. They have no interest in healing this connection or, um, nor do they see any more potential in it, all right? I don't feel like they were ever serious from the beginning. They came in in a shady energy with bad intentions, I feel like. Why is this world card in reverse here? Three of cups in reverse, telling you they, have it. they had another party. There was somebody else that they were still attached to. Either this person was like married or they had just gotten out of a relationship they have no intention of dropping that third party here with the world in reverse. There's no, um, mm -mm. they're not walking away from that. They're going back to it. <laughs> I feel like they were really rude or they're being really rude right now. Queen of Swords in reverse is like not a good energy. It's also the energy of continuing, you know, continuing to lie and to, you know, make more confusion out of the situation and to not bring clarity to the situation. Why is she here? Six of Swords. They don't want to, they're not calming this down. They're not like bringing any sort of um, closure. They're not wanting to offer any closure. They're just wanting to walk off and like leave it how it was. Even though it was left really ugly, there's no like, um, no inkling of maybe I should go back and apologize because I did fly off the handle. I did say some stuff I don't mean. You know, I do feel like they, um, recognize that they uh, overreacted when they were accused, whoever this was. But uh, I don't feel like, I don't see them coming back to, you know, apologize for their shit behavior there. All right, what's with this um, Ten of Swords? Ooh, Two of Pentacles in reverse. And this Two of Pentacles, all right, has three people in it. See? Ten of Swords is done because there is a third party and you found out about it, all right? I get, I get hard gaslighting energy from this. It's like this person was like, um, how dare you accuse me of cheating? If you're going to accuse me of cheating, I might as well just go do it. And then they say they go do it, but they've already been doing it. All right. They're trying to make you feel like you're crazy here. <laughs> like you may, cause I get the, with the te two of pentacles energy is, you know, and with the 10 of swords here, it's like, you're wondering if you made a mistake. You're wondering if I should have ended it, or maybe we shouldn't end it. Maybe we should try again. It's going back and forth between that energy of something being done. Uh, but don't, all right? Because they're that you saw the third party. They acted like you were crazy, I feel like. Made you feel like you were just being some, you know, nut job. <laughs> like hard gaslighting energy. 
And I think that's why you got the sun in reverse here is because you're thinking, well, maybe I did. Maybe it was just all in my head. And maybe I just, um, I didn't, you know, maybe I was wrong. I don't think you were wrong. Not with that energy in the past. No. I think that's why you're so upset with the sun card here in reverse. Why is the sun card here in reverse? King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. The action that you took, King of Wands is about action, taking actions. You're regretting the actions that you took. You're wondering if you, you know, you shouldn't have accused them or made, you're feeling bad now because you're thinking, you know, you made a mistake. You're regretting how you went at them. You're thinking maybe you were too harsh and maybe you were the one that, you know, ended this and blah. No, they had, they ended it before it started. They were attached to somebody from the very beginning and never had any intention of, you know, putting an effort in this relationship from the beginning. All right. So don't be mad at yourself. <laughs> don't beat yourself up about that decision. What's with this um, three of swords pissing on their grave? My God, this three of swords is so brutal. This is why I use, I have like a hundred tarot decks. I use so many different ones. Five of cups in reverse. Your, your heart is broken, but you're still feeling like you missed some kind of opportunity with this person. And because look, the um, most five of cups, he's staring at like three cups and there's two behind his back because they're not recognizing like the things that, you know, could be coming or that there's other love somewhere else or pay attention to, you know, what you do have. You're feeling like, you know, maybe you lost everything. He's still staring at all five cups here in front of him. You feel like you, uh, you're mad at yourself right now for like accusing this person because you're feeling, oh my God, I lost them because I accused them and he was, he was such a good person. He was not a good person. All right. This was not a good person. And you are not crazy. Do not let somebody gaslight you. If your intuition is telling you something, it's usually right, all right? Here's the good news. I see you putting in no more effort towards this situation coming up in the future. And I see Miss Ida here and the Ace of Cups, which means you're going to be high priestess energy. All right, let me tell you a story real fast about Miss Ida. She's a little girl, all right? She started randomly doing this candle ritual in her room one night when she was like, you know, seven years old or something. She would light this candle every night and stand up here in her attic you know, for hours at a time. And she would do it for like six days in a row. And she did that for like, you know, seven, something, something, seven, something years. Every um, March, she would do that for like this period of days. And then when it was all done, she ended up with all these high spiritual gifts. All right. And she became a high priestess, basically. So this is somebody like doing something, um, not understanding why you're doing it, but it just feels right. Your intuition felt right in the past, all right? And it was, okay? Don't check your intuition. I feel like you're gonna come to that realization that you were intuitively correct about this and drop this situation. And I see new love coming in for you, all right? The Ace of Cups is a new new offer in love. So let's clarify those for you. What's this Three of Pentacles in reverse here towards the connection? You're not wanting to put any more effort into this. All right, and this Three of Cups, like with that High Priestess, she looks like you know, a gypsy fortune teller. She's intuitive. She knows what's up. She sees through the crystal ball what is going on. You're coming to this moment of clarity that you were not crazy. <laughs> you did not make anything up. This was not, you know, in your head. Yeah, hang man. You're seeing it from the other side here. You're being enlightened about this. You are going to find, you know, some kind of thing to, um, I feel like, solidify your findings. Like it's going to, um, there'll be some kind of evidence or something that comes up that is like an aha moment. You're like, see, you just needed some kind of validation that you were correct because there was no hard proof. I feel like there will be some hard proof or something that makes you believe finally that, yes, there's no doubt this happened. Okay. It's still a little bit up in the air in the past. You were just onto it. It was there though. <laughs> All right, Miss Ida, why are you here? Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you ain't trying to... <laughs> you had Five of Wands in the uh, past, upright. You got it reversed now. Now you don't, you don't even want to... You don't need an explanation anymore. You don't need to engage with this person. Uh, you don't even need to, you know, have them feel like they're right. You can let them win the argument and walk away. You're done with it. You don't care. You care less anymore because you know what happened with Miss Ida there with your intuition. You know. All right, what's this Ace of Cups about coming up? What's about this Ace of Cups? Ooh, girl, King of Cups. King of Cups with the Ace of Cups. That's what I'm talking about. Ten of Swords. And look, this person, Sag, do you see this? 
I feel like they are going to try to energetically hold on to you in some aspect, either try to bait you into some kind of other argument or be back and forth. Because I do feel like they were using you to make somebody else jealous. I still need to clarify their one side over here. Um, don't fall for that, all right? You got the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups coming up in your future. They don't got that. They got sailing off somewhere else that's not going to give them as much balance. And they're going to try to hold you back from this ending somehow. They're going to try to keep you... Um, Keep you in the past. Don't let them do that. All right. Why is this three of wands here for Sag's person in the future? The devil telling you this person was already attached, already attached in the past to somebody else. They're going back to that prior attachment that they couldn't drop. What's with this um, six of pentacles? I also get the energy like total 180 here. If this is not about um, a third party, this is somebody who had like an addiction problem or something like that, that um, swore they dropped it in the past. They're sneaking around about it now and uh, they're not wanting to deal with it or come out of it or get any kind of treatment. It's the same kind of energy, all right? Being shady, lying about something, calling, um, getting called out about what you're doing and then denying it and getting defensive. It's addict behavior as well, all right? Could very well be a situation like that. What's with this six of pentacles in reverse? Five of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they got no intention of um, helping themselves out here. I feel like they've um, they've created this balance issue in their life. And they're not doing anything about it, all right? They're just going to sit in that energy of um, being like in spiritual poverty. <laughs> What's this three of pentacles in reverse about for Sag's person? Ten of Wands. They're going to go take their burdensome ass somewhere else. Eight of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom. The, uh, this person's carrying a lot of burden, all right? It's either energy from the past from another person or like what I said, like an addiction type situation. And they're not willing to put it down, all right? They're not. They have shit energy, all right? You've got great energy coming up in your uh, future. And you're very tuned into your intuition. You picked it up in the past and you were correct, all right? All right, Sag, that's what I got for you guys. Love you so much. I hope you subscribe to my little channel. Um, book me for a personal reading, all that good stuff. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you next time.